there from Show Your Roll. Oh yeah. So how did um, how did Show Your Roll get started? Uh, Show Your Roll got started with just a, a group of boys from back home on Guam. Um, a crew a crew of friends. Uh, I can't name all of them because I'll forget. Uh, I'll forget a bunch of them. But um, yeah, it's just a group of boys that got together uh, out here in the mainland and just started to try and push a, a clothing label. You know, just like any other. Uh, any other high school kid with a dream to try and start a clothing company. And so who, what of your friends, who would you say, like, who comes to mind like being pivotal for the, for the Show Your Roll movement? Oh man, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget like three people and I'm gonna, gonna get a nasty text message that says, you're an ass, but uh, <laughs> uh, for the, for the most part, man, I think, I think everyone was influential in, in some sort. Um, you know, we've had, um, all, all my close direct buddies and also people that weren't um, weren't good friends help um, push the movement, whether it be them um, putting in hard work through packing boxes or helping picking up shirts, or peeling stickers, um, putting flyers out there, helping promote the brand from the from the ground up. And that's kind of helped it where it's where it's got gotten to where it's at today. So, to how did the actual name Show Your Roll? When did that when was that born? Uh, you know, we um, we we, st we started. Um, Back in, you know, it, it was influenced in '99, and we started pushing it really, really hard in, in 2000 and 2001. Um, but the, but the term just, it just, um, it just came from slang. You know, it's just three words: show your role. Um, so it originated as, as a term used on the mat, where it means basically get out of the mat and show your role. And then it just uh, became more of a slang. So whenever you're doing something, just to make sure you make sure you show your role. You know, it's just a slang term for represent. Um, so, you know, that's kind of how it came about, you know, influence from the, the grappling scene, but used more on the, on the local slang scene as well. Um, what was your inspiration to, uh, um, to put this all together? Uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a big fan of skateboarding, surfing, art and lifestyle stuff, so uh, that kind of inspired, that kind of inspired me as far as the design and concept element of the brand. It's still growing today, it's still changing uh, every single day. Um, but for the most part, for the most part, that's what helped us uh, on the concept side uh, with our designing and, and kind of our direction. Mm, what can you tell us about the Shoei Roll tournaments in Guam and your activity over there? Uh, you know, we've been um, we've been pushing jujitsu and the whole Shoei Roll movement uh, back home for a while. You know, we put together a tournament I don't say, for the last five to six years. I lose track, um, but jujitsu is a a great hub for for the island. There's so much good talent that comes out of there um, that nobody really knows about. You know, I mean, anytime you see a uh, a Guam guy come out here to the mainland and, and train in the gym and do it and fight in competition or even just in the gym, um, instructors are amazed at the work ethic and and the natural talent that um, people from Guam have. Just because um, I think there's there's a lot of good good raw talent. It's just a matter of um, opportunity and. Um, making some goals so we've been focused directly to make sure we're somewhat influential and in making sure that that the, that the competitive scene and also the, the lifestyle of jiu-jitsu continues to grow through throwing, throwing tournaments and giving the kids a, a stage to showcase their talents. Um, can you tell us about the some of the big name players in MMA and jiu-jitsu that you're sponsoring now? I um, mean you know, we sponsor and support a bunch of people um, either sponsoring them directly or just them being a part of our movement and helping us push. Um, you know, we have guys like Jake Shields, Gil Melendez, Luke Stewart, uh, Darren BC, um, Nan Pham. Uh, these are all on the MMA side. Um, and, and a bunch of other guys, you know, um, Nick and Nate Diaz. Um, I, can, I can probably go on and, and uh, Kenny Florian. <laughs> um, Jeez, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep on missing out people. But I mean, there's a ton of people that have helped push push our uh, push our brand. Um, you know, since we were such a since we were crazy Tim Cradle, <laughs> since we were a hobby brand. You know, and um, and now we're finally uh, starting to get some speed. So all those guys and all the other people that left out that wore our stuff since we were you know we were nothing. Um, those guys have all been been awesome and helping support the movement. And, uh, can you tell us about some of the local players you're supporting? Um, that did like the show your old tournament and stuff. Uh, you know, we support um, we we support a couple of guys on the local scene. Um, you know, uh, Chris Duenas when he was still back home, we were supporting him. Um, we support uh, Miguel Miguel Zuzu, um, Louis Rages, uh, John Tuck, um, and and a bunch of other kids. You know, um, 
anybody anybody that's coming up over there, uh, we try and help as much as we can. We've been really really busy, but um, we're, we're keeping our eyes peeled on on who's uh, on who's doing well. Baby Joe, um, you know, there's there's a bunch of people that that we've been supporting, trying to push them uh, and promote them out here as well. Uh, what can you tell us about Darren Bone Crusher? Uh, Darren, uh, he's a crazy guy. You know? <laughs> but uh, now Darren, uh, Darren. Dar we, it, it was nice. It was nice because um, we kind of Darren's been on the competitive circuit on the grappling scene and is also starting to make his mark in MMA um, for a long time. You know, he's been climbing the ranks trying to get to where he is today, and uh, uh, he's kind of where we were. You know, uh, we kind of grew together, which is nice. Um, we both started where we didn't really have anything, and um, he supported us, and and we supported him as well. So um, great guy, one of the greatest. Um, one of the one of the greatest um, lightweight competitive guys I, I think out of um, out of um, California on the grappling scene. Um, from that's from uh, that's from California, you know. So um, I see big things for Darren, and you know he's running a great gym up in uh, Davis City, uh, FTCC, um, and um, yeah, I see nothing but great things. And he's a good friend of, of the movement, and uh, he uh, he fits right into what we're trying to do. So. How about um, Braganetto? Uh, Braganetto, Braganetto is um, you know not too many people uh, know Braganetto if they don't follow the jiu-jitsu scene uh, pretty close. But I mean, um, he, Braganetto is a, a friend of the brand and he's been helping push our movement as well. Um, the guy's 22 years old and he's won more tournaments and more championships than anybody else out there at that age. Um, won every single world championship at every single belt level. Won absolute uh, at the world championships at multiple belt levels and the, the kids only you know the guy's only 22 years old fights MMA um, but he just he's he's, a, he's ultimately a, an awesome guy and he's a he's just a he's a good dude you know and uh, uh, I think he, he fits right into what we're doing and I think he's a he's, he's a he's a beast <laughs> so uh, we're, we're happy to have him up as a part of our movement and a, and a friend of the family so and what can you tell us about show your role that we don't know um, being from the ranch and uh, being super chod is, um, is is influential in uh, in uh, in our concepts and de design as well. And uh, be pr be proud of the boonie dogs that uh, that are outside the house because uh, we are. You know, even though it, it's not there, but uh, even though it's not there uh, on our website, I mean that's a that's a big key element of um, of what Show Your Roll is all about is uh, is uh, keeping that lifestyle and and um, what you're really all about uh, as a part of your daily life and what you're doing. So that, and that's what I can say about Shoryu. Is there any particular quote that's been like an inspiration to you at all? Um, you know, not necessarily a quote, but I would say um, just a few words that, um, that, I, that I try and, uh, that I try and um, we try and push in the brand. You know, it's, um, we use movement of, of the people as one of the terms that we push really hard and also um, rebels against the mainstream. Um, and those are two quotes that we, we really like to push out there. And what do you have to say about about the way you've come about marketing and how you got show your role in people's eyes? Because a lot of people really like love the marketing aspect of, of like how you're putting things together. And um, can you tell us about that? Uh, you know, I think I think that on the marketing side is is uh, with with the um, with with the age of the internet being uh, accessible, you know, I think it's opened up a lot of opportunities for a lot of small business small business owners and uh, people with startup companies. And um, you know, we we just try and um, we try and put it put our product in people's hands and try and spread it um, uh, through via word of mouth. You know, because we didn't have um, we 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 don't have a big advertising budget like Nike or any other big brand does. So. Uh, we just try and take care of people and hopefully um, they'll spread the word and um, and also just try and keep things different and um, and uh, finding the niche market within the niche market and uh, using word of mouth I think that's that's using word of mouth and uh, taking care of the people that take care of you I think that's been our, our biggest form of advertising and marketing to be honest uh, what's your goal uh, my goal is to continue to hopefully get Guam on the map and and um, and, and let everybody know that um, it's possible to um, to be successful no matter what you're from, you know, no matter uh, what you, what you're uh, faced with in life. You know, uh, we're all we're all faced with the obstacles and 
in life and uh, you, know, you can make it an excuse and not, not achieve it, um, but you can also get over that obstacle and, and try and achieve whatever you want to achieve. Uh, my main goal is to hopefully make um, Shoro uh, one of the biggest um, kimono companies and apparel companies in the um, extreme and uh, mixed martial arts market and um, uh, hopefully we can get there sooner than later. And who do you look up? Who do you look up to? Um, you know, I, I look up. I look up to. Um, yeah, that's a hard. <laughs> that's a that's a hard one. You know, I I, I look up to. Um, I look up to all the people before me uh, within my family. You know, because I think um, uh, they've all put things in place to give me this best. You know, this better opportunity in life. So um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, to be honest. And, um, and you know, that goes from my father all the way to my grandfather. Um, their hard work from um, working from the ground up, you know, working um, to where they, they had nothing and they gave me some opportunities and I was able to seize them. So I look up to them, you know, and um, I also look up to, I look up to, I look up to any, anybody that's doing things that are good, you know, I'm taking people that are taking care of people and um, anybody who's trying to change the game, you know, I, I look up to all those people, so. You know, what's next for Show Your Own? Um... Next is um, 2000, 2011, 2012. I mean, um, we're looking to um, produce more and more kimonos next year. Um, we're hoping to have a, a, a big year, make an even bigger splash, not only in the U.S. market, but also internationally. And um, we're looking to go full-blown with an apparel line, hopefully, um, uh, hopefully make, a, make, a, make a, a mark back home and start getting some uh, stuff going uh, back home on Guam and also uh, uh, in Asia and on the island so uh, look out for that Guam we promise it's coming soon and where can everybody find you uh, you get you guys can check us out on showyroll.com um, s-h-o-y-o-r-o-l-l.com and you can follow us on twitter uh, at showyroll brand or you can follow us on facebook all the links should be on our um, on our main page Are there any last shout outs or last words of wisdom um shout out to Shout out to my, my wife for, um, for dealing with me uh, each and every day. Um, and also, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm all over the place, so I, I thank my wife for being patient with me. And um, I also want to thank uh, my son, who's also a big inspiration and big motivational factor in my day to day life. And also, all my friends, uh, friends and family, you know. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be uh, doing what I do each and every day. And all the followers of the Showroom brand and the movement. Uh, you guys are what creates the brand, so uh, thank you very much for pushing it. Alright, thank you, bro. Thank you. 66 degrees.